a filmmaker. I am here at the beautiful marina, enjoying this beautiful Sunday. However, I am just so humbly grateful and thankful for what God is about to do with my new short film. So, I'm believing that everyone will come out and support my new short film, The Educated Slave Minister, Matt Turner. November the 9th, got Jack London Square from 7 p.m. to 12 midnight. I'll be screening my latest short film, The Educated Slave Minister, Matt Turner, as well as screening my collection of Sandra Smith films. All I can say is it has been a journey, but I am so grateful for this beautiful journey because life is a beautiful struggle. It is definitely a beautiful struggle. And through the struggle, there is progress. So when you are struggling, believe me, you, you are making progress in your life, in your career, in your relationship, in your business, in your finances, whatever it is you are struggling, when you are pushing against the forces that are pushing against you to move backwards and you moving forward, God is making a way out of no way. He's just giving you the strength you need to continue on the journey that he has you on. And believe me you, it's been a journey. It's been, it's been a lot. I've learned a lot, I've lived a lot and still have a lot more living to do as well as learning. But in this industry that I'm in, it is a tough industry, but it's only tough if you see it to be a tough industry. To me, I have to take it as a challenge because everything in life is a challenge when you're trying to accomplish and succeed in every area in your life. Sometimes there's challenges and there are struggles, but it depends on you, how bad you want it. How bad you want it. What are you gonna do to get there as well as to get that thing that you want? Are you gonna look back at the people that's in the race with you? Or are you gonna run your own race? Because when you look back at those that are running their race, you get distracted with your race and you get sidetracked. So keep your eyes on the prize and the goal that God has given you. Run your own race. Run it with joy, with peace, with happiness, with anticipation that you know that you know without a shadow of a doubt that your time is near. You will get that thing that you are seeking or that dream or that blessing or that goal, whatever it is that you're running to accomplish or succeed, that too shall come to pass. You know, that too shall come to pass. You will see God's blessing just taking you and overflowing. So keep your eyes on the prize. Run your race. Don't look back. Don't look to the side. Just keep your faith, keep your focus straight ahead and run your own race. And when you run your own race, you will see yourself accomplishing the goals that you are out to accomplish. You will see yourself making strides at that goal or that vision or that idea or that business, business, whatever it is that you're running your race to accomplish and succeed. When you stay on your course and don't look to the left, nor the right, nor behind you, you will definitely see God allowing you to move forward. And that's what happens when we are running our own race. We look to the side to see who's on side of us, or we look to the back to see who's catching up with us. Then we lose focus. We lose focus on our own race, and our own vision, and our own goals. Don't lose focus on what God has called you to do. Stay focused, stay determined, and run your own race. Because let me tell you, without struggle, there is no progress. When you are struggling, believe me, you, you are progressing. My sister Courtney Richardson plays a beautiful role as the teacher who's educating our young people on Net Turner. And of course, my brother Crash Cut plays Net Turner, who's talking to the slaves about the future generation on how they should have freedom. So, come out and support my awesome, beautiful cast with 
my lady Chartem, the educated minister that can focus on your race and nobody else's, God will truly show you how your race will end. Run your race. When you run your race and you don't look to the left, nor the right, nor behind you to see who's on the side of you or in behind you running your race, then you stay focused on your race. But when you look at the next person running a race with you, you will lose focus and you will be distracted. Keep running your race. November the 9th, the Educated Slave Minister, as well as a collection of all Sandra Smith films. That's me. A collection of all my films. It is a blessing to be teaming up with other female filmmakers, collaborating with them, bringing forward some awesome films. I'll be in LA next month, collaborating with filmmaker, producer, Desire Jackson on her new movie, Alimony, which is a great script, as well as teaming up with beautiful queen sister, Yudi Yuda, with some film projects. So it is a blessing. So when I had my setback, God was setting me up for the greatest comeback and blessing. Telling my story, your story, God's story, but being able to tell it where everyone can enjoy my films. Sandra Smith film. Once again, God is setting me up for my ultimate blessing. And that's to be a successful filmmaker. This is my time. This is my season. And I have to continue pushing, pushing, pushing. Even when forces are pushing against me, I have to I have to keep pressing forward with the strength God gives me every day. As a person, as a child of the most high God as a talented, gifted being that's here on this earth at this time and this season, I'm on a ride. I am on a ride. I'm excited about where I'm at. On one side of the cross, you can see God's blessing, everything just going so right. And then on the other side, you can see like, oh my God, I'm struggling. This is too hard, this is challenging, this is that and that. But when you stay focused and thank God through the bad and the good, it's like God moves it all out for you. It's like nothing matters. Even when you're going through your hard time, it's like, bring it on, what's next? Because God has given me all I need to continue to press forward. I can see God's blessing unfolding. I can see doors open, opportunities coming my way. I am so grateful and humble for all those that have supported Sandra Smith Films, who have been a part of my film. I couldn't have not gotten this far as it wouldn't have been for such talented, gifted Bay Area artists here that supported Sandra Smith Films. Now, moving on to feature films, you gotta level up in this game. You can't just stay one way. So I'm leveling up with my new feature film, Julia Hunts for Love. In the process of finishing it, I'm just thankful that I have Three Minute Laptop is now a feature film. Faith Becomes Her is now a feature film, and I'm working on finishing up The Sealed Letter to be a feature film. My professor, professor and mentor, Marge, Marla Leach, told me, when you're getting ready to shop your project, always have four feature films under your belt, because those who are looking at your project, they'll have more than just one film to check out. You have a collection of films. So at this time, I have a collection of features. I am ready, I'm leveled up for God to take me to the next level, to be the next successful African-American female filmmaker, bringing forth positive, inspirational, educational films for all to enjoy. So thank you all for your supporting Tiger Eye Entertainment and Films, Sandra Smith Films, and everyone that works with Tiger Eye and who have supported Sandra Smith Films. I'm so humbly grateful for you all. And I say, God, you are in control. When friends and family may leave and forsake me, God will never, and God never did. He just leveled me up and put me in a position to meet others that will support Sandra Smith Films. From this day forward, I will continue loving all who have supported Sandra Smith Film and who have gave me tough love in my time when I felt like, God, I am going through after losing my guy, Keith 
and just the setback of my short film, I felt like the world was just crashing in on me. Friends were giving me tough love, were just, you know, not being there the way that I thought they would. But God used them to give me the strength I need today to say, you know what? I gotta do this without nobody being on my side or helping me or doing anything. I have to do this because God is on my side and he has given me everything I need to do what I have to do as a person, as a friend, a mother, you know, an inspirational vessel to all that God allowed me to be a vessel for. But most of all, as a female filmmaker telling my story, your story, God's story, I'm humbly grateful for all your love and support. November the 9th, Scott's Jack London Square, downtown Oakland, the screening of my latest short film, The Educated Slave Minister, Ned Turner. See you all, God bless. Continue to support Sandra Smith Film, Tiger Eye Entertainment, and Film. God bless.